Before we dive into all of the details for dimensional modeling, we first want to understand what does it actually mean a dimensional model. So dimensional modeling is referring to methods of organizing our data in a specific way and this is typically used in a data warehouse. Because in a data warehouse we have usually specific requirements that are also related to usability and performance because we want to use the data for reporting and OLAP use cases. And a dimensional model is usually the best fit for that because we have a lot of benefits in terms of our requirements. But we'll dive a little bit deeper into those benefits in the next lecture. For now, we first want to understand that in a dimensional model, all of our data is organized in either facts or dimensions. So a fact can be something that is usually measured. So something like a profit that can be aggregated. And then dimensions on the other side give additional context to those measurements. So for example, it can be something like a month, a time period, or also a product category. And then with this dimension, we can give additional context. So we can turn the fact, the measurement, with the context into meaningful insight. So for example, we can analyze the profit by year or the profit by category. And then with this additional context to our measurement, we get the meaningful insight from our data. So you see that this keyword by is usually indicating that the year or the category is a dimension. And now this fact is usually in the middle and we have multiple dimensions clustered around this fact. So we can use all of these different dimensions to analyze our data and the measurements in our fact table. And because of this visual appearance of a star, we also call this method or this alignment a star schema. And later on, we'll dive a little bit deeper into what a star schema is and also what some alternatives are. So dimensional modeling is referring to a unique technique that is used in a data warehouse to structure our data. And it is optimized for the purpose of a data warehouse that is to have fast data retrieval. So it's oriented around performance and usability. So these are the things that we usually want to have very high for reporting and OLAP use cases. And that's why we want to use those dimensional models in our data warehouse. But now we want to dive a little bit deeper into why we have such a high performance and usability with this dimensional model. So the question is, why do we use a dimensional model in our data warehouse? We will find an answer to that question in the next lecture. Now that we've understood what a dimensional model is, in the basics at least, we want to understand why are there these benefits with dimensional modeling. So we remember that the goal of dimensional modeling is fast data retrieval and this is related to both performance and usability. And to understand why we have these benefits in terms of performance and usability, we want to have a look at the following example. So let's assume we have this table, in our case it consists out of seven columns, and we want to aggregate, so we want to calculate the total profit in this table. And now how a database works is that a table is scanned through in rows because the data is stored in rows. So you don't have to understand all of the technical things around databases, but it's just that the performance of those wider tables is not as efficient as with the more narrow tables. So of course we have query optimizers in place, but still we have with white tables not such a good query performance. And also what you might note is that if we arrange the data in that way, we can have a lot of duplicate data that is not really necessary for us. So for example, we have the name for the same customer being repeated over and over again. 
And also we can have the same product maybe sold thousands of times and therefore the product name will be repeated over and over again. And this all results in not such a nice query performance. And for that reason we can exclude things like the name of the customer into a separate customer dimension. So we only keep the customer ID and all of the related information we put into a separate customer dimension table. And the same thing we can also do with product and category. So we don't need to keep that information, but we can just use and keep the foreign key of this product and then exclude all of this information into a separate product table. And then of course we can have the primary key in the dimension table and the related foreign key that is then referring to this primary key of our product table. And now with that we have a better performance but also a better usability because now the data is structured into logical units so we have all of the product related information put into a product table. And all of the date information can also be put into a date dimension. So for example if in our case we use a date ID that just is a number consisting out of the year, the month and the day, then we can put all of the date related information into that separate date dimension. And like this we can now easily find all of that date related information in our date table. And we don't have to search in hundreds of columns of one fact table and this is making things much easier for the users. So now we can just take the profit and slice and dice it for example by the month or by the weekday. And this is where the benefits of a high performance and a high usability in a dimensional model are coming from. So we do dimensional modeling for the goal of fast data retrieval that comes from high query performance and high usability because of the way the data is structured into dimensions and fact tables. And therefore this is the preferred technique for data warehousing because in a data warehouse we want to use that data for OLAP use cases and reporting and this is where we need to have high performance and high usability. And now that we've understood those basics around data modeling, we can dive deeper into the details of fact tables and dimension tables.